Thanks for watching my channel. My name is Baba Azibo, and you are watching Sankofa Live TV. And now uh, what we're trying to do is something monumental. Basically, what we're, we're trying to do is, is uh, not trying, but we're actually doing it. We have bought land uh, through uh, the whole Africa for the Africans program by Brother Bomani Tahemba. This is the rise of the Marcus Garvey spirit. Here in Jahazi, we want to uplift the community. This is Brother Leonard and Carmen, and this is his home. Well, what we're trying to do, as far as our liberation is concerned, is open up a consciousness, a worldwide consciousness, of who we are and what we're all about as a people. Uh, Leonard, please introduce yourself. I'm Leonard Burns, my wife Carmen Burns, and uh, we've been here. Mm, about almost two years, but we've been in the house actually about eight, seven, eight months, I guess, something like that. And it's still in progress. Basically, the house is finished. Uh, there's some stuff needs to be done inside. And instead of putting a wall around to begin with, which is what they told us to do, we decided to do it afterwards. So we're having that installed now. And uh, we just love it here. Uh, we came uh, from America to be a blessing to the people, really. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in ministry. We've been in ministry for over 30 some years. And uh, we came uh, to uh, lift up the people. Mm -hmm. you know, people need jobs here uh, and uh, they need hope, really. Right. And we came to encourage as much as we can, give what we can. And uh, in the process, we're enjoying the peace that's right. here. You know, it's like a byproduct, is the peace that's here. But we really came to serve the people. And uh, we've been doing it in a small way. Uh, we've been contacting people in the states who've been sending us funds to try to do more. Exactly. And we're trying to create employment for the youth here. We have some ideas for employment. We'd like to do uh, micro loans where to help them get started because they already have an entrepreneurial spirit. So all they need is a little bit to get them started. So there's a lot to be done here, and we came to work, and we're just enjoying it. You know? Right. Uh, Sister Carmen. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is my husband, and I'm here because he's here. Okay, so he said, first, what? Your first, be with your first love, and this is my first love. So I'm here to support him and stand by him and do what I can. All right, Sister Ifua, uh, she's our secretary in training. And would, you, would you please say something about uh, this Jahazi? All right, so, um, um, Sister Yufwa means my uh, secretary in training, and um, I, I represent the first part um, economic youth movement here in Jahazi, right. and I entreat all the youth to be part of this movement. Thank you. Right. This is uh, not just an ordinary movement. This is uh, an economic youth movement program. And uh, here to give you the energy and the direction of, of where we're going, this is Dr. Cassandra Mobatha Hawkins. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. As you just heard, my name is Dr. Cassandra Mabatho Hawkins. I am a retired educator. However, I am an advocate of change education. I've always had the desire to teach the truth about who we are, you know, people who look like me and the rest of us. Right. And we need to understand where we've come, from where we've come. So I am here to basically support to stand and lift as well as help to organize and I look forward to seeing you not just seeing you but purchasing property here and staying with us sometimes thank you for listening well alrighty then the, your house caught my interest what, what, what type of uh, home is this how is this made how is it made and what is what is it called okay it's called a ram earth uh, Ram Earth Construction, and I first read about it when it was in the States, and I always liked it. Um, 
and when we came here we had an opportunity to do it uh, I did it for several reasons. First of all, it blends in with the environment better than most houses do. Wow. Um, and it's kind of like an Adobe-like style. I didn't want anything too fabulous because I didn't want us to be set apart from the community. We wow. wanted to be able to blend with the community and not look like we're up on a hill and, you know, and we've lost touch mm -hmm. with the people. So we did it like this. And uh, I also wanted something to that I could look at that it's not like the U.S. Because okay. I was tired of looking at what was in the U.S. You you know, so I want something completely different. <laughs> and in the U.S. you don't see Earth Ram homes. Yeah. Uh, we don't need air conditioning. So that was another thing. We use solar and we don't have to worry about air conditioning. So that keeps our solar costs down. Great. Wow. And the house Great. just stays cool basically year round. You know. Um, so, you know, economically it made sense too. We want people to come to help build up the community and... and uh, help us do more, but at the same time, we're enjoying the peace. Right. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. so like, you know. <laughs> Word, peace, yeah. peace, peace. Right. Yeah. peace. No helicopter. Right. No helicopter, no, <laughs> helicopter, no, Gun no gunshots. Yeah. No chemtrails. No chemtrails, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. It's just, yes. you wake up and the birds are singing, oh. you know, and, uh, you know, animals running everywhere. Everybody's afraid of the animals. These animals here. They run them away from you, really. And That's there's right. no really, there's not any danger in this particular area anyway, just a few snakes or something like that. But it's just, every day we just thank y'all for, for bringing us here, you know, because, uh, you know, we could be stuck in the States like a lot of other people. That's right. Um, most of the people our age, we're, all, we're both over 70, so both, you know, most people our age uh, have health issues and they can't. You know, they can't get around. Right. The first thing they say to us is, well, how's the health care? So we don't worry about it because we never dealt with doctors anyway. We've always used herbs and, and natural medicines. So that's right. You know, yes. and like that's that, one of like the reasons that, that we've tried there. to stay healthy, you know. Yeah. So, so we don't worry about stuff like that, you know. Uh, so we welcome some of the older people to come because a lot of them have the wisdom to try to help teach mm -hmm. and they don't necessarily need the monetary resources right. to live by right. so they don't have to charge for what they do, you know, and so we just love for the older people to come too. But the young people, they want to come, but the young people don't have residual income so it makes it difficult for them, we understand that, right. you know. Um, but we need more people to come start taking up these plots, you know. Right, and Africa, yeah. Africa has has uh, the largest youth population on the planet. Yes, yes. It's, it's like about 90% of the people in Jahazi are, are young people. Yes. 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 yes, yes. And that's the primary reason for these t-shirts. Yes. yes. <laughs> and this time, Jahazi is spelled correct. <laughs> You know, it spells amazing. Let's go out and look at the land. Okay. Let's go out and look at the land. We we want to try and incorporate the land with the youth, because uh, if Africa is really to be the future, uh, we have to invest in the, in the minds of our our youth. Yeah. What I mean by the minds of our youth, we have to we have to take this global economic system by the reins and ride this baby. You know. We, we, we got to deal with the robotics. We got to deal with the, the uh, AI technology. You know, we're, we're caught up in this, this whole thing of uh, being left behind on purpose. It's by design that we're left behind. Yes. Look at this beautiful land, you, you know. Don't have to worry uh, about it no more. You, right here. Uh, we can go for it. you got mango trees. Look at, check out the mango trees. Uh, you know, if, if you guys are interested in, in uh, buying a plot here at the Black Star uh, community and participating in, in our revolutionary struggle to free ourselves from, from this, this uh, entrapment uh, economics, the main thing about black folks is, you know, the black folks, even in, in, in Africa, we don't feel like we're a part of anything. That's why you got, that's why you have, uh, uh, what do they call it when, 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 when uh, y the youth leave and go to Europe? What do they call that? They call that what? Black like a migration? Yeah. Okay. They, 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 they leave and go, go back, to, go to Europe, and their dream is to, is to, is to uh, 
live in Europe and be a part of what Europeans are doing instead of staying here and building in Africa. Yeah, because they don't see the opportunities you know, here. You know, we they have don't, to they show don't, them that they're here. Right. And support them. That's right. We have to support them. Yeah. And, and this right here, if you're interested in buying a plot, teach your children ownership. Ownership is very important and when we're dealing with this, this whole entire movement. Teach them entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is very important. They um, already have a mindset right. of business here anyway. That's um, right, a business mindset. So they, they just need uh, someone to support them in their, in, their, uh, in their dreams. That's right, brother. You know? And that's what we are hoping to do. We're believing people will come and join with us in supporting us. We right. have a lot of natural resources as far as the things we've learned from the West. Right. We can come and we can help the youth here to see that there's a future here. They don't have to leave here in order to be blessed. They don't have to leave here to make money. Africa got everything, got everything that black folks need. Right here. Right here on the continent. In fact, we have so much of it to other people from other countries is coming and taking Trying it. Trying to take it and are taking right. it. Right. That's the truth. And, and they are taking it. Yeah. That's true. So, I mean, if you're interested in uh, owning a piece of Africa, it's www.africaforTheAfricans.org. That's www.africaforTheAfricans.org. Buy a lot. Own a piece of Africa, build your institution or build your home here, and uh, become a part of uh, of the revolution. Become a part of the spirit of Marcus Garvey. You know, Bomani Tahimba is uh, the president of uh, this this, this complex, and I, I am the vice president. Of this, of this complex. Okay. My name is Baba Azibo Ajani. And uh, this, we, we're going to go over here and see if we can interview uh, one of the workers. You know, uh, I think we sort of catching them off guard. Maybe, maybe we can go to this way. Yeah. I'm the same builder that did our house. Oh, is that right? Uh, someone commissioned him to do a round one. So oh, wow. Almost finished. It's about a couple months to be finished. Yeah. I, I think I talked with the guy that uh, that wanted this house built around. He said he's, he saw it in, a, in some, some other place yeah. in the country, in, in the, on the continent. Yeah, I can do it. It's almost there. Yeah, almost. How are you doing today? Okay. Well, back up. Get the roof together here. Another one of our houses. Just about there. Yeah. She's having an electrical. Wow. How are you doing? How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. How are you? Right? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, thank God, thank God. Would you please introduce yourself uh, and tell me exactly what, what you're doing here with, with a round house? A oh. round house? <laughs> That's good, you know. I never, we, we're not used to round houses in the West, man. Well, actually, uh, now it's coming to the, 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 the uh, African part and that's what we are doing now. Currently, we are just track construction company limited. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's, uh, we do building. Uh -huh. We do any type of building, uh -huh. actually, but here we are contracted to do uh, yeah, ramp earth, ram, ram uh, earth building. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got and, you. And ramp that hill building, uh, what actually is, uh, is just a natural soil, mm -hmm. 
yeah, with a yeah. small amount of clay uh, 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 cement then that is what we combined together to bring a compacted compacted in layers oh okay. to bring to existence of so that's where you get the stripes the stripes in the building that is it so every stripe right. that you see right. is a layer is a layer is a layer right yeah okay. so currently we are working on a two bedroom with okay. the library can, can we walk through yes we can, can. We walk through okay yes we can mm -hmm. well they come along really good cool. yeah so this is a building and here we are this is the laundry area wow yeah this is the solar system area oh solar because system area. yeah because uh the client will be installing a uh, solar panel so it's eco-friendly, it's an eco-friendly home. Actually, it's an eco-friendly home. Right. Yeah, what you're saying, we are not going to paint. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are not going to paint. We are not going to do any decorations pertaining to chemical painting. Right. Whatsoever that will be a, a painting or something dressing, right. it will be an egg plastering. Wow. Yeah, which wow. is solely by eco-friendly. Eco -friendly. Right. So currently, what we are seeing here, you can feel the temperature right yeah right and it's it's really something that we are trying to bring up right is it, it is trend? really solid is it a trend throughout yeah is it, becoming, is it growing yeah is it growing it's growing actually because uh what is happening is that currently this wall the thickness is one foot thick external walls wow wow then the internal walls are uh eight inches thick Right, so it, it keeps the house cool. It keeps the house cool. Right. Pertaining to because soil receives a, a heat and easily gives us heat. Right. But concrete receives heat and keeps the heat. Okay. So there's, there's a science. Yes, that's the science behind it. Wow. So whenever the soil, the wall receives a, a heat, it releases the heat. Okay. But concrete and block work, it holds. they hold the heat. Right. So anytime you're in the room, or you are in the house, you feel the heat right in the right. So with this at at ramp, uh, actually, it's eco friendly. Uh, it's one of the best things that I recommend anybody at all to go for. Wow. One maintenance is something that we can all be assured of, right. as low as it can be. Right. Because as many times you will live on the earth. Imagine going to pension mm -hmm. with a little income now. Right. But anytime you have to maintain how your house, right. imagine what it will cost you. Right. And imagine going to pension without maintenance of that sort. Right. Imagine how am amount you can save and keep yourself to so our God calls us home. So how long have you been building a black star? Actually, I've been building this my this is my second project for Black Star. Oh yeah, all right. So this is a two years pro. Uh, this is a two years for now. Right. I've been working with Black Star. Right. Yeah. My first building is uh, at the other place, uh, it, which it is Mr. Burns. Yeah, Mr. Leonard Burns. Yeah, Leonard. Yes, please. Right. That's our first project with uh, uh, Black Star. Right. And this is our second project with uh, Gregory. Come okay. on. So yeah. did you get a chance to meet him? Yes, please. He's my he's my brother, a friend. Right. And I think he's my everything. All my, my clients are my everything. Right. right. Leonard can testify. I heard yes. Yeah. Yes. So I think uh being with you guys, I'm really happy right. working with you. And I'm ready to receive as many as so what, that are ready. What, what is your number? What is your phone number? My phone number is uh plus two two three. Two four four, mm -hmm. then six three, mm -hmm. six one, right, and zero seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Would you repeat that? It's zero. It's plus two three three. Mm -hmm. Two four four, mm -hmm. six three. Okay. Six one, and zero seven. Okay. Yeah. Right, brother. We'll so, be looking. We'll be looking out for it. Yeah. And, uh, uh, this this video is going all over the planet. Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Going all over the world, so yeah. we should we should be able to get somebody to to come for sure and, and uh, employ you, yeah. you know, so that you can employ other people. 
uh, it, it, the t-shirts that you're seeing is a uh, is a uh, this is an economic youth movement that we're starting in Jahazi. That's good. This that's a great, that's a great job. We come to uh, uplift the community. Yes. We come to uh, build uh, on the land, build our own home. We come to be a part of the community in general. For sure. I think yeah. that I support that. Yeah. Because of I support it, the reason why I said I'm supporting it is that all my workers are from Jahazi. Oh, is that right? None of them is out from outside, apart from the two supervisors we are from, who are brother dude. All the workers here you are seeing on the site are from God. And they, they're working? Yes, sir. I've right. kept they, them for involved. almost, I've kept them ever since I've come here. Right. I've worked with them. So imagine I've worked with them for two years. That's right. So I would tell everybody to be able to come and build. To support black stuff. When they come, I think we also employ the community. That's and right. the community get a value of Black Star community. Right. Yeah. So what I believe that we can do much and we are trying to do. That's more. right. And it's going yeah. it's growing. Yeah, it's, it's growing. growing. It's growing. I think I think Bomani I think Bomani has about eight lots uh, left. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if, if there's anyone out there that's interested in buying a lot from Black Star Pan African community. You're yeah, welcome. Please. That's right, you're welcome. Yeah, it's you're w welcome, w and welcome, w and welcome. Africa for the Africans. Yes. Dot org. Dot org. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. Alrighty then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Um, where are we, what can we, what can we, we, uh, help, uh, uh, he has, uh, he has bought, I mean, he lots, 200 lots, 60 acres. Yeah. In, in, in another area over here, that's phase two. This is phase one. Yeah. This is 15 acres. And then phase three is a beach resort that he wants to build. That's a great job. Yeah, yeah. That's a it's great a beach plan. resort. So you're talking jobs, you're talking factories. Greetings, we are the Black Star Pan-African community, inviting you home to the motherland. Mr. Bamani Tayemba has made it possible so that you can come home to Ghana. Right now we have three phases that we're working with. Phase one has about eight plots left, and phase two, 200 plots. And there's a phase three also, which is beach, beachfront property. I'd like for you to think about if you would like to have residential property or commercial property, because you can choose or have both. If you'd like to get in touch with Mr. Bomani, his phone number is plus one four zero four nine three one nine four two nine. But let me just tell you a little bit more about the uh, property and the plots. Each piece of plot runs you about 80 feet by 100. That is a very comfortable piece of land. So we're looking forward to you coming over to Ghana and looking at the property. And if you'd love it, or before you even love it, you may contact Bamani at www dot Africa for the Africans dot org. I'll repeat that www dot Africa for the Africans dot org. We look forward to seeing you soon to get your plot.